You're looking to make stubs in MLB The Show 23. This video is going to walk you through everything that you need to know about the marketplace and how to make as many stubs that you want. Hey guys, so I want to walk you through exactly how to use the marketplace as well as actually using it to make a ton of stubs. Now, if you've been watching my channel or my streams, you know that my entire account is going to be no money spent this year. And as you can see, I'm kind of hurting on stubs right now. I've only got about 13,000. Working towards a live series collection, I already have Trout and Otani. So I want to show you guys now how to use the marketplace, especially if you're a beginner, because just looking at it, you probably are overwhelmed, much like all of the other modes and things that this game throws at you. However, I can promise you, once you understand it, it's very, very simple. All right, so for this example, I'm going to show you, just walk you through, let's say, duplicate cards. So if you're working towards the live series, obviously you want to lock in anytime that you pull a new card, but especially if you're no money spent, you want to make sure you get every stub that you possibly can for every card. So we are going to use this duplicate Colton Wong that I've got in the Mariners collection, and there's a couple things that you can do here, all right? You can quick sell him for 50 stubs, but what you want to do is go and take a look at what he's going for in the market. So you're in your inventory, click on Colton Wong, go to view and market. Now you're going to see a buy now for 109 and a sell now for 67. So let me explain what those two mean. It means that currently the cheapest price that you can just buy Colton Wong would be 109 stubs. That's no waiting around. You're literally just like you click it and you will get Colton Wong. Now you can save yourself a lot of stubs by completing a buy order and i'm going to show you what that means when you take a look at the sell now you can sell him immediately if you have extras like i do for 67 stubs now again that's immediate that's instant however you can get more just like the buy orders so now i'm going to walk you through how to do a buy order and how to do a sell order and make it as simple as i possibly can so again, you go into your inventory, you find a card that you want to take a look at, you go to view and market, and right now, again, buy now means that you can buy this card immediately, no waiting around for 109 stubs, sell now of 67. You can sell him immediately for 67 stubs, there's no waiting. All right, so now let's take a look. Let's say... I want to sell this Colton Wong, but I want to get as many stubs as I possibly can. So think of it as going diagonal, all right? If you want to sell whatever card that you're looking at here, again, you can click sell now and you will just get whatever stubs that it is set at or you can create a sell order. Now what that will do is that will essentially put you on the left hand column, meaning that when someone just wants to immediately buy Colton Wong, as long as you are the cheapest, they will buy yours. So let's go ahead and make one right now. So again, I can sell him immediately for 67 stubs. Now, what you wanna do is create a sell order. Now, look diagonal. Sell means that you use the left-hand column. This needs to be at least one stub less than what the highest number is on the left-hand side. So if 110 is the cheapest buy now, you need to set it to 109. So type in 109 and then hit finalize order. There is a tax of 10%, so you will see what you will actually receive Above that, I will receive 98 stubs if someone were to buy this Colton Wong. So I'm going to finalize the order, hit OK, and now you'll see on the left-hand side that it was set for 109. And as I'm recording this, it immediately got purchased. Now, let's say I wanted to buy Colton Wong. Again, just the opposite diagonal. Okay, go to create buy order, and instead of hitting buy now and buying him for 109 stubs, you can set it to one more than whatever the highest price is. So this is the opposite, obviously. So you want to set this to 68, and if I hit finalize order, my order would be at the top, and if someone hits sell now on Colton Wong, I will get him for 68 stubs. So if you are looking to purchase or sell any card in your collection, this is the best way to do it because you are maximizing the amount of stubs you do it. When you create an order, it is there for good. It just hangs in there. But let's go and use a better example, someone that's a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to use my Mike Trout. Obviously, I can't sell him because I have the no sell tag. I locked him into the collection. But let's say I wanted to. So go to view and market right now. He's the most expensive live series card, and he is probably going to remain that for the entire year. Click on buy sell options. Again, this is why it's so important, especially with diamond cards, gold cards, silver cards, all of that. You don't want to just be hammering the buy now because you are going to pay the most that you could possibly pay for the entire collection. So if I wanted to buy Mike Trout right now, I don't need 280000 which is what I could by just clicking buy now. I need to make a buy order for something slightly more than 263,000 stubs. Again, 
you need to go one more. So if I were to create a buy order, I would set it to 263,001 stub. You always wanna go one more if you are making a buy order or one less if you are looking to sell. Again, diagonal. If you wanna buy, look at the right column. If you wanna sell, look at the left column. If you are selling, you wanna be one less. If you are buying, you wanna be one more. That is the basics of the marketplace. I know it looks a little confusing and I hope I explained it as simple as I possibly could. If you guys, again, have any questions in the comments, let me know. So now that you know how to utilize the marketplace, to its most effective in terms of just completing collections or buying cards that you want, let's take a look at the best ways and the simplest ways to earn a regular profit using the marketplace. So when you go over to the marketplace and you hit MLB players, you will just see a list of mostly the top most expensive ones. There is really no filter set unless you set one. So now you can go through all of this and do it in a random fashion, but I wouldn't recommend that. Let's say you've only got 13,675 stuff like myself. Maybe you have, let's say, under 50,000 stubs. You don't want to be working and trying to flip the most expensive diamonds because you can really only have one. That is going to take the most amount of time, and you're just really not using your stubs to the most effective way possible. So let's set some filters. Hit square or X if you're playing Xbox. Go to filter, and let's do but we'll choose the gold options. So we'll set the overall to 80, and we'll set the max overall to 84, okay? That's it, just hit start, and now you will see all of the gold cards that are currently in the game. Now here is what you are trying to do, guys. You are looking for the biggest margin possible between buy now and sell now. So let's take Contreras, for example. You can buy him right now for 1,811 stubs. You can sell him now for 1,507 stubs for a total of a basically 300 stub difference. Now, if we were to go into his buy-sell options, here's the easiest way to tell you what the current flip price would be if you are looking to buy this card, create a buy order, and then immediately sell him what you would earn in terms of stubs. Here is the easiest way. So again, when you are buying, you want to look at the right-hand column. So right now, a buy order would cost you 1,508 stubs, and that's if someone immediately sells this Contreras card, you would get it. Now, it isn't going to mean that this is going to happen, but you are currently in the lead, right? And again, more people might put on buy orders and then you'll get dropped down. And again, I'll show you how to cancel orders in just a little bit. So you want to know if you are going to make stubs because remember, there is a 10% tax. Here is the easiest way to tell if you are going to make stubs if you were to do this buy order. Go over to sell. Remember, when you are making a sell order, it needs to be one less than the highest number on the left-hand column. So right now, it's currently 1,811 stubs. So go ahead and choose 1,810. Always go one less, guys. Don't try and undercut. You want to make sure you're maximizing your stubs. So we'll choose 1,100, or sorry, 1,810 stubs. So if you were to complete this sell order, you are buying for 1,508. And if you were to sell, you will get 1,629. Now again, if you have very little stubs, you are still earning about 120 stubs on this flip. It is going to take you much longer to acquire actual, you know, a, a much larger stub pool. But this is a basic example of how to do it with very, very little stubs. And again, what you want to do is just go down the list and look for ones that have large margins. So for example, you Darvish has a 1,950 buy now, but a 1,772 sell now. There's very little margin there at all. So even if it works and you flip the card, you're earning very, very little. All right, let's use a bigger example when you have a ton of stubs to work with. This Corbin Carroll, for example, is going for 158,000 on the buy now, 138,000 on the sell now. So let's take a look. If you were to create a buy order of, again, opposite columns, 138,051 stubs, you would get this card eventually. Let's pretend. What would you make if you were to sell it for its cheapest sell now price? 157,999. You would make 142,199 on that price, which means that you've just made 4,000 stubs on that sale. Again, I'll show you again. If you were to create a buy order to get this Corbin Carroll for the cheapest price, 
you would have to set it to 138,051 stubs. That would get you at the top of the right column. If someone hits sell now, that's what you will get. Then you go over to create a sell order and you would sell it for the cheapest amount that is there on the left-hand column, 157999 And again, it will calculate the tax right there. That right there is 4,000 stubs. That is a great flip price. As you can see, when you get more stubs, it is far easier to make stubs, but it is simple as that, guys. These fluctuate all the time. Sometimes it will not be immediate. Sometimes you're gonna have to work with it, but it is very, very easy to just spend an hour working the market. You will end up with thousands of stubs completely no money spent but let's talk about what has the hugest variation usually it is much more volatile but diamond equipment even gold equipment has a ton of value in terms of the buy now and sell now so what you want to do is go to filter for example go to batting gloves it's one of the easier ones and hit diamond hit search and now you're going to go and see you can take a look at all of these diamond batting gloves and go and find ones that have decent value okay a decent value here so right now for example the victus knox batting gloves has a buy now of 21,467 and a sell now of 17,500 again by just calculating the math here if you were to buy this for the 17,500 and sell them for just a little bit cheaper you're gonna make almost 2,000 stubs on that immediately so you can spend hours just going through here equipment has the biggest value usually it has the biggest range of pricing but it can be very volatile, meaning that sell nows and buy nows and the margins can really shrink quickly. But usually you can make a ton of stubs here. So guys, I hope this helps you out. Let me know in the comments section down below if there's anything else you want to know about the market and things like that. I'd be happy to help out. We haven't even touched on when roster updates happen and the implementation of live series cards and what happens when their ratings change. And I'll do a completely separate video on that. But I really wanted to go over just the basics of the market here. And I hope that helped you out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.